Welcome to our lecture online. Now that you memorize what we saw in the previous two videos, I hope so because you're going to need what we're seeing here. In order to evaluate what we have here, it makes it a whole lot easier if you remember what we learned in the previous two videos. You may want to go back real quick and remind yourself what we learned there. So here we have the sum of three terms, 4i minus 6i squared plus 3 when i goes from 1 to n and we're supposed to evaluate that. Remember the rule. When we had more than one term, we could actually separate those out and turn those into three separate summations. So this can be written as the sum, when i goes from 1 to n, of 4i plus the sum from i equals 1 to n of 6i squared and plus the sum from i equals 1 to n of the number 3. Now we're not done yet with our rules because now you should realize that here we have a constant times i. Oh, I forgot the negative, didn't I? I might as well put that in now. It's negative 6 times i squared, a constant times i squared, and here plus the summation of a constant. Remember the rules, we can, so to speak, factor out the constant. We can put the 4 out here, we can put the negative 6 out here, so this can be written as 4 times the summation from i equals 1 to n of the number i. Plus, oh not plus because I'm going to bring the negative 6 out, so negative 6 times the summation from i equals 1 to n of i squared, and then plus, remember the rule here, this will simply be equal to 3 times n. n times a constant, or we just simply write 3 times n. Now, what is this equal to? Well, when we put it up here, we have the sum from i equals 1 to n of i, and of course I'll write the n a little bit better here, this is n, so this is equal to 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, all the way up to plus n. And remember from the previous video that this is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2. And likewise over here, the sum from i equals 1 to n of i squared, that's equal to 1 squared plus 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 4 squared, all the way up to plus n squared. And that can be written as n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1, all divided by 6. And that's why I told you, memorize those because they will come in handy. So now what we can do is we can write the following. This is equal to 4 times this right here, which is equal to n times n plus 1 divided by 2, minus 6 times, 6 times i squared, which is n times n plus 1 times, oop, not n, but 2n, 2n plus 1, all divided by 6, and then finally, plus 3n. Notice how much easier it is to remember what those two series are equal to. Now here, we can simplify this 2 becomes a 1 and this becomes a 2. This 6 and this 6 cancels out, that becomes a 1. So now I can go ahead and multiply all that out and collect common terms. So this is equal to 2n times n, which is 2n squared, 2n times 1, which is plus 2n. Here everything is negative, so we're going to subtract all these. And so we have n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1. So, let's see, how do we do that? We probably want to do it in two terms. So this is minus, yeah, so this is minus n squared. And let me just write it like this, so n times that is n squared plus n, and multiply that times 2n plus 1. So it's probably a little bit easier to do it in two steps, like this. I keep the negative still out here, and then plus 3n at the end. So now I'm going to multiply this out, so this is equal to 2n squared plus 2n. Minus, so we have n squared times 2n, that is 2n cubed, so minus 2n cubed n squared times 1, with a negative, that's minus n squared, n times 2n with a negative, that would be minus 2n squared, and n times that with a negative would be minus n plus 3n. And now I'm ready to collect all the common terms. So let's come up here 
and finish the job. So here we have a minus 2n cubed, that's only cubed terms, so we have minus 2n cubed. We have a 2n squared, minus an n squared, that's 1n squared, minus 2n squared, that would be minus n squared. So we have minus 3 plus 2, that would be a minus n squared. Now about the n terms, 2n, minus n is n, plus 3n is plus 4n, plus 4n. And so this, whoop, this is the final result of this original expression from i equals 1 to n. So now you can say that no matter what the n value is, plug in any value for n, and this will give you that final result of adding all those terms together. But remember that once we had it in this form, in this form, this could easily be replaced by this, and this could be replaced by that to make the whole job a whole lot easier. And that is how we do that. Pretty neat, huh? <laughs> okay.